welcome to a new series uh, on uh, widows and virgins. So in this series I will be covering on the four stages of a woman uh, right from her virginhood to her widowhood. And uh, it's an amazing picture when we look at each and every word and what Abba has placed on my heart when I share it with you. Uh, my prayer is that everyone uh, see the spiritual aspect uh, like as, as, as I always say, you know, spirit in the letter. Alright, so that's what is in uh, the Dabar of Allahi. Okay, so let's start off by reading 1 Timothy chapter 5. Alright, when we see Paul giving instructions on taking care of widows and he lays, the, he lays down guidelines on whom to consider as widows and who shouldn't be accounted for widows. So let me read from verse 3 onwards. It says, Honor widows that are widows indeed. Alright, again, Honor widows that are widows indeed. So let's look at a quick background of taking care of widows. So when we read in Acts chapter 6 verses 1 to 4, there were some Hellenistic Yahudis uh, who murmured against the uh, Abaris that the widows were neglected in the daily ministration. So the apostles uh, appointed seven men full of the Ruach HaKodesh to look into the distribution of the daily needs of these widows. So I'll read a few verses, Acts chapter 6 verses 1. And in those days when number of the disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Hellenistic Yahudis against the Hebrews because they are widows were being overlooked in the daily ministration. Verse 2, So the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not desirable for us to neglect the word of Allahim and serve tables. Verse 3, Therefore brethren, select from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Ruach and of wisdom, whom we may put in charge of this task. Verse 4, But we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Dabar. So the Abari word for widow is Almana or Almanot, which is H490. I have listed Almanut. Alright? So this is the word for widow. So even the Torah itself spoke of taking care of widows by bringing in the tithe and also warns us of not afflicting them in any way. So I'll read out some Torah portions so which will help you understand. Uh, you know what I'm really talking about. Uh, Exodus chapter 22 verses 22. It says, "You shall not afflict any widow, which is H O nine zero, or orphan." Verses 23. If you afflict him at all, and if surely he does cry out to me, I shall surely hear his cry, and my anger shall be kindled, and I shall kill you with the sword, and your wives shall become widows and your sons orphans. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verses 28 At the end of three years you shall bring out all the tithe of your produce in that year and shall deposit in it in your town. Verse 29 The Levite because he has no portion or inheritance among you and the alien, the orphan and the widow who are in your town shall come and eat and be satisfied in order that Yahuwah your Al may bless you in all the work of your hand which you do. So now we know that the Torah, uh, Torah is spiritual and if one notices the widows are identified with the Le Le Levites in this passage. Alright, uh, where Yahuwah gives instruction of bringing uh, you know, the tithe, alright, the tithe into the fold. And this tithe was supposed to take care of the Levites, the widows and the orphans. Alright, so Christianity uh, has a complete vague understanding of what tithe is all about because the tithe is only eaten by the pastor of their churches. Alright? But they would neglect their widows, they would neglect the orphans in, in their churches. So uh, they, they wouldn't understand these things uh, written in the Torah portions because they do it for their selfish gain. Okay? So uh, we know that the Torah is spiritual and if, if one notices in these passages which I just read from Deuteronomy chapter 14 verses 28 and 29 that the widows have a portion with the Levites and the fatherless because they have no inheritance with the children of Yasharan. Okay? 
So when we read one Timothy chapter five in the instructions given to take care of widows, we must see these scriptures in the light of spirit in the letter without ignoring the commandment. So we should see the spirit in the letter without ignoring the commandment of taking care of widows. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter ten verse seventeen. For Yahuwah, your Al is the Al of the Elohim, and my Master of Ha Adonim, the Great, the Mighty, the Awesome Al, who does not show partiality, not take a bribe. Verse eighteen. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the foreigner by giving him bread and clothing. And you shall love the alien, for you were aliens in the land of Misraim, that is Egypt. When you verse nineteen. Deuteronomy chapter 24 verses 19. When you reap your harvest in your field and have forgotten a sheep in the field, you shall not go back to get it. It shall be for the alien, for the orphan, and for the widow, in order that Yahuwah your Al may bless you in all the work of your hands. Verse 20. When you beat your olive tree, you shall not go over the boughs after you. It shall be for the alien, for the orphan, and for the widow. Verse 21. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, you shall not go over it after you. It shall be for the alien, for the orphan, and for the widow. You, verse 22 of Deuteronomy 24. You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Mitzrayim. Therefore, I am commanding you to do this thing. Now, according to the Torah, uh, you know, people look at Torah as uh, you know judgment, fierceness. Anger, but Torah is all about mercy and compassion. Because I just wrote, read out Torah portions to you. The Torah was a reminder to the uh, Yasharites, you know, that see, you are an alien, a stranger in a foreign land that is Mitzrayim, and I brought you from, uh, forth from there. So, you, sh- uh, as you are aliens and strangers in the land, you should have compassion on the aliens and the strangers living in your land. so they had uh, you know a specific commandments given to them that when they make uh, you know farm or when when they uh, have their fields be it corn be it vineyards be it uh, you know wheat or anything they have had to leave portions of those fields for the aliens the strangers uh, sorry the orphans and the widows so that they can eat of that portion That is compassion, right? So that was very specific instruction which I read out to you from Torah portions, and that's how when you see uh, in the New Testament, uh, that is Barayat Kadasha, you see that the disciples they were going through the corn fields on a Shabbat, and they were eating from the corn fields, and the Pharisees point out to Yahusha saying, "See, they are violating the Shabbat." But they were not violating the Shabbat because they were eating from the portion of the poor of the land. All right. So see the beautiful picture how the tie-up comes in. That Yahuwah takes care of uh, the widows, the orphans, uh, and the aliens because His people were strangers in a foreign land, and it was a reminder. Torah was a reminder to have compassion upon them. Okay. So. That's how we see when you read about the story of Ruth and Boaz. All right, we see Boaz obeying Yahuwah's Torah when he told his servants to deliberately drop from the sheaves so that Ruth, who was the widow, could collect it for her sustenance. So the law of Allahim continuously gave Yasharal a reminder that they were bondmen in the land of Mitzrayim. that was in captivity and therefore they must show mercy to the stranger the fatherless and the widow so we see this picture in the book of ruth as well so ruth was a widow so let's continue in part 2